boy, like I cannot explain to you how perfect the timing on this video has actually been. So I'm not much of a sweets type of person, but as of late, I've been itching for some delicious sweets and particularly, and ironically enough, I got a package from my friend Josephine over in Germany. So my friends, it looks like today we're gonna be testing out some of the most German and most authentic candy that we could possibly get our hands on because it literally comes from the motherland. This is gonna be fun. And a big thank you to my friend Josephine for making this video possible. Without you, we wouldn't have this. So you're the bomb.com. If you guys would like to check out her Instagram page, I'm gonna link it down below and you can check out some of her amazing adventures with Tenerife, Spain. So we're gonna go in order. Josephine actually laid it out so I can get a better understanding as to what it is. So up first, we're gonna be trying something called Hal Hal Wow. Well, Kulgen. I'm gonna mispronounce a lot of things as you may have already noticed. <laughs> but apparently this is a classic. It's Germany's oldest chocolate factories and these are balls that are known everywhere here. So it's all over the country, pretty cool. They'll come in different flavors and I decide that you should try the classic ones. While definitely, I do believe classic is always the best way to go. Let's check it out. What? <laughs> Very fancy chocolates. Now, do they taste good? That's the real question. I'm the weirdest, most complex human when it comes to chocolate, so let's find out. Mm. That was absolutely delicious. It kind of tasted like a cupcake, like it's very, very sweet, but it has like, it has an extra taste on there, which is, um, I'm gonna assume that's either the half cream or the cocoa cream. Whichever one it was, it was absolutely spectacular how it blended. Easy, nine out of 10. All right, guys, up next, we're gonna be checking out Trolli Saure Glunk Wurumchen. And apparently these are described as sweet and sour jelly worms. So this is, uh, this is perfect. Those definitely pack a punch. I love it. I love sour candy. I absolutely do. But I can never get used to the actual sour. Like every time it's always like a surprise. I'm like, I expect it, but I don't. It always just hits. This one I actually found very interesting. It's amazing gummies. No issue, very straightforward. But this, like the amount of like sourness, in my opinion is flawless. I love it, very simple. And I actually tried both parts separately and they were both amazing. So I'm gonna go right ahead and give this one a solid 10 out of 10. Pretty great. But all right guys, up next, we're gonna be checking out the Kinder Chocolate. And I love that on the packaging, it says Danko. And I say that with all confidence, but no certainty. <laughs> but anyways, hopefully my German isn't destroying your ears. I'm trying. Oh, these are so cute. They're like gold bars, but made out of chocolate. Oh my God, this is so freaking cute. It's like the perfect miniature little bar. Like, funny enough, I have never had these, like this candy. Like, I am not exaggerating. I have never had them. I know everybody would always speak about them, but I never had the chance to try them. So I'm very excited to finally try this out. Oh my God, and look, they're little bars and they have crowns. How cute is that? I, I can't tell, is it psychopath? Oh, look at that. That is so cool. Mmm, I'm done. Oh my god. I've been deprived of a childhood. What is this? Closest thing I could come up to is this one Colombian little treat. It's called a Nusita. And they have this exact same flavoring, but they're on two separate sides of the plate. So you're supposed to find like the balance with like a little spoon. But this is like the perfect ratio. Like you guys did it to like the scientific Pythagorean theorem of it. Like, bro, like what is this? Like this is a hyperbole. This is what geometry is all about. Cal calculus. It's like melting away in my hand, but nonetheless, like this, Albert Einstein made, for sure. How about now we try out some of these? These are called Fur Bizer Nietzsche Fur Lutzche. Haha. And then it says uh, Schoko Sprusche. You know what? I'm gonna try the yellow one. Oh, no, 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 the blue one. No, yellow. You know what? I'm gonna make an entire judgment based off of this one. Mm. So it looks like we made a wise choice. This in fact was white chocolate and it tasted absolutely amazing. The flavor was just so rich. The crunch was just so smooth. Like I feel like this is what they would have like at every like hotel before you check out. Pretty awesome. 10 out of 10, no doubt about it. All right, so up next, we're gonna be checking out what's called a Hoi Brause. It seems like a uh, like Kool-Aid in the packet. So pretty excited. <laughs> I totally just ruined the other one. <laughs> well, because I ruined it, I guess I have to go with it. All right, guys. Same like before, I'm gonna judge everything based upon this one right here. Am I losing my mind? Is there like a little popping thing to it? Hold on, what is this? It's like carbonated. It's like fizzy. 
Ah, so it has some sort of bubbly stuff in there. All right, cool, cool, cool. That makes so much sense. I felt like I was losing my goddamn mind. I was like, what the heck? It feels like it feels like one of those like, carbonated water drinks. Like, you know, when you're too fancy for regular water, this is what you go ahead and do. I'm going to even go ahead and say that this is, in my opinion, better than Kool-Aid. Like, it's much more lighter. Does it feel as artificial, as weird as that may sound? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put this one at an 8 out of 10. Definitely good. The bubbles are coming up now. What the hell? So we're going to go ahead and check out this wonderful large packet. Of course, I only need one, but thank you. Appreciate the details. Another situation where I feel like I should recognize these, but I don't. So I've never had them nonetheless. They're called coppers. It looks like they are a wafer along with some nuts. Hazelnuts, more than likely. And it says here that my friend Josephine is a really big fan of them. Oh, hazelnuts, milk, and milk filling. Mmm. Oh my god. It's like a s'more, but with a cone. It's very crunchy. The chocolate mixture is absolutely incredible. It's milk chocolate. I love milk chocolate. And the hazelnut is just so delicate on top. This is really up there. I'm gonna go right ahead and give this one a solid 10 out of 10 as well. Moving on to Nim Too Soft. I love the packaging. So apparently this is actually described as a chewy ball with a fruit filling in the center and uh, it's not supposed to be chewing gum. All right. It smells like cotton candy. I just found my new favorite candy. Oh my God, I'm so mad that I'm not gonna be able to buy these. Oh my God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm not exaggerating. Like this right here is actually incredible. Like, you know what? I'm not even getting paid for this. Buy one of these if you have not. Easily the best thing here. I, this is undervalued 100 out of 10. Another one that we're gonna be checking out by Kinder. This one is called C Kinder Country. And apparently it's uh, described as cereal on the inside of milk chocolate. I feel like you guys want health issues. It looks like a cloud inside of milk chocolate. Like, what is this perfection? What is this? I'm chewing on something that feels like popcorn. And on the label, you know what this looks like? It looks like oats. This is so weird. I don't know what it is, but if you describe, actually, yeah, I guess some sort of cereal. Mix in milk chocolate, and I feel like this is how they got to this. I feel like I just discovered the hidden formula. Next thing you know, Kinder's breaking down my door. <laughs> you can't just leak information like that, man. I feel like everyone thinks I'm kissing butt at this point, but no joke, this is absolutely stunning. Anything Kinder does just is seems to be a massive hit. A solid 10 out of 10. I'm laughing just thinking about how to pronounce this next one. So we're gonna be checking out Li Liebni's Mini's Butter Cakes. I don't know if to put less accent, more accents. I feel like it's the right amount. I could be wrong. <laughs> Definitely like a little butter cookie. And I love the fact that they're miniatures. It is so easy. Like, I feel like I could easily sit down through these like on a lunch break. Worst part is that someone would have to take them away. Otherwise, I'm just gonna get fat. <laughs> it tastes like Danish butter cookies for some odd reason. <laughs> so I, I don't know if that's offensive or not, but I love the way it tastes very simplistic. A good way to keep it, nine out of 10. Great job. Man, it just seems like I'm trying out all the most popular things in the world that I haven't had the chance to try out. Tofifi, I believe this is like a really popular brand everywhere, if I'm not mistaken. I've seen them, never had them. So I guess this is like the, the Fer, Ferrer, Ferrer, Ferrari? Ferrero Rocher chocolate balls. I like the presentation, definitely great details. What? It looks like it's covered with caramel on the outside and then chocolate on the inside. I like that. Ooh. So there is definitely a hazelnut in there. And I'm starting to realize how much appreciation I have for, for, this, for this friendly nut. <laughs> I feel like hazelnut is actually very crucial when it comes to chocolate at this point. Like that's one thing I'm learning very quickly. I love the taste. The caramel is exact spectacular, very crunchy, very chewy. It's like a Tootsie Roll, but a million times better. 10 out of 10, no doubt about it. Ooh, boy. Up next, we're gonna be checking out this thing called Moan Blocks. Some chewy stuff, no gum again, <laughs> but they come in different flavors. As a child, apparently, my friend Josephine carried them. You know what? I'm gonna go right ahead and I'm gonna try something weird with this one. Let's try Risky. I'm a, I usually dislike raspberry, and I'm gonna try the raspberry one on this one. If I could like this one, I will like those. They're little minis inside of minis. That's so cute. <laughs> mm, oh man. You're very simple, and this hit home. I'm a big fan of Laffy Taffy, and this actually brings that 100% into my brain. I love it. If I was a child in Germany, I would have these in my pocket as well. God damn, solid 9 out of 10. By the way, my friends, a friendly reminder, if you wanna help support what we do here on this channel, 
Here's a link to my Patreon page, and we have a lot of amazing perks on there. Please look through them. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll happily answer it. Moving on, we're going to be checking out Kinder Bueno. I feel like this is the most popular, most king daddy of all of them. So I'm very excited to finally try this one out in snack form. It's ironic because bueno in Spanish actually means good. They pretensely judge themselves. That sounds pretty cocky to me. I see it has some chocolate and hazelnuts on the inside. Should be pretty straightforward, I would assume. I don't know why, it kind of reminds me of a granola bar. Like if this one little granola bar that was made out of chocolate when I was growing up in high school. It's a very interesting look. It has almost like an abstract art. Like these guys are taking it to the next level. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. It's a light waffle and the hazelnut filling is perfect. There's absolutely minimal to no crunch whatsoever. Like if you don't even have teeth, you could eat this. As we all know, someone and their grandma's watching it. Very simplistic, very straightforward, easy going. I could see anyone enjoying this. A solid nine out of 10. And of course, last but not least, we cannot forget the absolute legendary hurry boats. What I like about these is that they look, they look baked and they look extra crispy, very fancy, almost like I'm gonna say exotic flavors. I'm reading on the back and I see a few things like Afil, Kimberi, Girsche, which, oh, that's cherry. Oh, they have pictures next to them and banana. You know what? Let's try the cherry. It looks promising. I don't know why. It's a lot of chewing. <laughs> I think I did a good choice today. Like cherry was definitely a good choice. Very odd, very unique. I love the fact that they are different flavors from what I recall. Like I haven't had Haribos since I was maybe around, I'm gonna say 12. So I haven't had these for a while. I don't really remember what's in the packaging, but I don't recall banana or what appears to be birne or pear and apple, cherry, peach, and what appears to be raspberry. So I do get the feeling that these are more fancier. As a matter of fact, my friend says, I bought you the juicy ones. There's nothing left to say. Indeed, there's not. So with that being said, this right here is another solid eight out of 10. Great job. Well, my amigos, thank you so much for sticking around. If you guys have not checked out some of the more recent episodes, we recently did Geography Now. I know a lot of you guys were requesting it, so very excited to put that one out. But before I go into the full YouTuber mode, I would like to thank you guys so much for sharing your experience of growing up in Germany and actually even going as far to sharing like candy, food, snacks that you guys grew up with. I feel blessed to do what I do and I can't honestly appreciate it enough, which reminds me, I have a P.O. box. So go right ahead. If you guys want to send a postcard or a handwritten letter, please go right ahead and do so. It's always pretty awesome receiving them. It's like that little hidden spark of the day. Connect with me on Instagram. It's a great way for us to talk back and forth and like the video and subscribe for more amazing content just like this. And until next time, my friends, hasta la pasta. And I'll be seeing you guys on the flip side. Bye.